Today we're near Frankfurt at the Pfeiffer Fish Hatchery. Here's Steve Marple. He's the head cat out here. <laughs> Speaking of cats, you're doing something very interesting out here. What have you made here at the Pfeiffer Fish Hatchery? We're using a channel catfish female and a blue catfish male to make a hybrid catfish. We are using them in the fins lakes, the fishing in neighborhoods, which all of those lakes are, are relatively small. They don't have, they don't flood and overflow. So these fish aren't gonna escape. Uh, we're also stocking bigger fish, uh, a pound or maybe even a little bigger than that. What's it look like? It really looks half, halfway in between a channel and a blue. This is the channel cat, correct? Correct. This would be the hybrid? This is a hybrid. It has a few spots. Uh huh. It's got that purpley blue color. And With the slope of his head. Yeah, a little higher crest to the back. So on this one, the blue is on the top. You can see its its back is even a little higher, but they have both have the same uh, purple, almost iridescent yeah, right through color here. to them. But the bottom one has a few spots, and the barbel is dark on this one. Do you have any idea what size these guys could get in the long run, several years from now? I'm pretty sure they could hit 40, 50 pounds. Oh, wow. Then for this fins program, we're raising fish longer. So instead of shipping almost all of our catfish when they're about 15 months old, now we're keeping them two years, even three years, which means they go through more periods where diseases are a problem. So I'm taking more losses. The, this hybrid, in our experience, the last three years has a, essentially no disease problem. We haven't seen dead fish one in the pond. Whereas with the channels or the blues, we might lose 10 or 15 percent a year, possibly even more. Now the characteristics of a blue and the characteristics of a channel, as far as what they eat, is a little different, right? Yes, uh, the channels will eat eat fish too. But the blues are a more of an open water predator. Uh, they will pick stuff up off the bottom, but they don't forage on the bottom as much as uh, channels do. And the hybrids are like that too. They ride higher in the water, but they'll eat whatever. How old are these fish right here? Both of these fish are almost two years old. They've had some larger fish removed from that group already. Very rapidly this will start you say 20 to 30 percent more growth rate in the next year. Interesting. Fish grow faster partly because they're eating more so they're easier to catch too. We want fishermen to have success that really is is one of our major goals and uh, you know early on I was kind of bored with fishing until I had some success but a couple good days of fishing will carry you through a whole lot of slow days. At what point in your life did you know that you were gonna get into something like this? Well, I did work in biochemistry research labs for a while, and I, and I knew I wanted to get outside. Uh, there's a lot of different things in this job. We're, we're doing different things all the time. Uh, I, like, I like nature, I like biodiversity, I like the, the joy of seeing a crop raised, but I also like design and plumbing, uh, you know, making things make, and changing things to make them work. And so I get to do a lot of that here too. Sounds to me like you've got the perfect job for Steve Marble. I think so. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today and cool stuff. You know, some of the stuff that you worked on recently is the sturgeon, which we find fascinating. Uh, the alligator gar. Just so yeah. much neat stuff that you're that you're working and, on, and they fit fit into my interest in, in conservation. Well, thanks so much for what you do. I know how hard you work. I know the many many hours you spend here. The state of Kentucky thanks you as well. Thank you.